All right, welcome back guys to the One Man Startup. Today we're gonna finish out our design for the home page in Adobe XD. Uh, we already have a really good start. We have the card set up so far for the, um, for the upcoming trips and uh, there's a few issues with readability. It's kind of hard to see some of the text in there so we're gonna change that. We're also gonna finish out the rest of the home page design. All right, let's get started. Okay, so to fix the issue with not being able to see the the cost, uh, we went. I went with one of these masks here. So how this was done was uh, down here we were in this view before, and you could just see the components. But if you click on this, you can actually see the like a breakdown of the components. So I went. I actually just deleted the original uh, cost one that we had and the per day one. Actually, I'll just delete that as well. I'll delete all these for now and just show you. Um, so just make a rectangle and put that right there. Uh, make that line up. Let's lose the border and then on this we want to put the bottom corner to line up with the screen there. Um, great, so that looks good. Now we want to just lower the opacity to, let's just do 70%. And then now we kind of can still see the picture, but this text will show up better that way. So let's hit T. For this, we'll maybe do $200. And hit V, oh, hit V to select it. Move that there. Hit T again, right per day. And this one we can just change again, so they vary a little bit. The date also is kind of hard to see. Let's just make that darker. This this is actually also a bit dark. Maybe we put the if we hit Shift and select both of these, then we can move them as one. Maybe we move that down into here. Now you can see because this this box that we just made is actually in front of the car and the car logo. So if we have the box selected and we right click, we can hit send backwards. I just, yeah, send backwards. One, now you can see that just popped in front of it. We can hit that again, send backwards. One more. We don't want to send it to the back because if we do that, it'll be behind the image block. And over here, you can kind of see how, where those all line up. The um, the one on the top, like, this is the bottom, right? So the this is the main image. And then as you go up, this is the very top. So per day is now the most top element, which is fine. Um, this we can put, I guess we'll just do black. Maybe we do a dark blue here. We can see this kind of got uh, cut off, so let's move that over to there. Yeah, so that looks pretty good for the cards. If we can copy paste, we can do a very similar thing for our past trips, right? And for that, we can take this repeat grid, which is the whole thing, copy that, paste it down here, or paste it there, and then just drag it to there. And now we can change, you know, San, San Francisco. These are the paths, so we can do, you know, four. So if you notice now we're going off the page, um, which is fine. If you want to make this larger, you just drag it down, and it keeps the keeps the bar here tells you where your first page is though. And then just like before, we can just switch these images out just so it looks cool, just so it looks uh, matches up with the city. 
and I think that's San Francisco there. I don't, we just want to enlarge that, maybe move it down. Good. And same with this. Enlarge and move there. Cool. So yeah, it's starting to come together now. Um, basically, we just have the cards now that look kind of exactly how we want them designed. Um, so yeah, this this is like the basic way to do Adobe XD. The good thing about this is, since we're not in code, we are since we're doing this through design, we can see real quick and make changes real quick. If we were in code right now, it would take longer to figure out. I mean, it would take longer to you know build this box, put the opacity, see if that looks good with the number in front of it. Here it's quick. We can edit it quickly. We can see it nicely. Um, so yeah, this basically is our home page. The only thing that's missing is our uh, footer, our navigation footer. So for that, we can just go here, grab a navigation. Let's see, here's one. We'll probably have three tabs. We can add more later as we go, though. Um, and just paste that there. We want that at the bottom of the screen. Um, now we also want to lock this into place. So to do that, you can just check this box, fi fix position when scrolling. So what that's going to do is always keep it at the bottom of our page and this scrolling can scroll above and that'll be there. Um, let's see, this maybe is trips or this maybe is home, home, new trip, new trip and explore. Uh, not exactly sure if these are the tabs we're actually going to use, but once I review the wireframe more and run through it, we should be good. Now, one thing that I didn't do was the was the piece at the top here where you can save money for your trip. So let's just go ahead and extend this. Let's go ahead and move. If we if we drag over all of this stuff, now we have everything we can just scroll down here. And probably we need maybe that much space. Um, with that, it also moved our footer, so just pop that back up. All right, awesome. So yeah, the thing we wanted here was going to be text that says you you have saved and it'll say you know two hundred dollars for your next trip to New York. Alright if you notice the text is going off the screen right there so if you just highlight all this and click this square box here You'll have this. You'll have the text like this, and you can just pull this. Oh, not like that. You can pull this back to there. New York for your New York. You say two hundred dollars for your next trip to New York. Great. Let's highlight this and make it a green color. All right, pop that up there. Let's go ahead and center all that. And then here we want a text field, but really we want just a line. So if we hit this, or you could hit L, and draw a nice line here. Let's make the border size four. And let's put a text here and do a dollar sign. Let's make that nice and big and let's do a button here so for a button we'll just do a square like that let's make the button green oop that's the border uh, let's just get rid of the border let's put um, a shadow on it so it pops a little bit and here we'll make it green 
like that color green. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's round those. Let's round these to a five. And here we can put saved. And let's let's just move this to the center. And let's make this white. All right. So now you would be able to type in any amount here and just hit saved. Um, yeah, so this is kind of how our design looked. I think this action here, this one, can be a new trip. New trip. Uh, let's just make that easier to navigate now. This one will be more of, let's say, do Potentially this one won't even be here. Let's leave it empty for now. So you could add a new trip there. This does not look centered. There we go. Make the text of this slightly smaller. Uh, do 20. Uh, I guess we could try and get it all in one line. Just do 18. No. 16. Nope. Let's just get rid of New York here and just say on your next trip and then make this 20. Good. Let's move this. Let's move all of this stuff up a little bit to there. And then we can do another text that says uh, track money. You have track more money you've saved. Track more money you have saved. Not sure if I like that note being there, but we'll leave it for now. Um, great. So this is a good start. Definitely, we got our basically our home page with these cards. Um, now one thing we can do real quick is just view hit play. And now we'll be able to see it as a preview, and we can scroll through, and it all looks pretty good. All right, great. So now we have our homepage design pretty much wrapped up. Um, feel free to tweak things as you like, but this is uh, the base design that we're going to go with. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to now do the designs from our wireframes for all the other pages, and then. Once that's done, I'll do another video and kind of just go over the final design of everything in Adobe XD. So by yourself, go and design out all the pages for your app. You could either do this app or you could do your own app. I'd recommend doing your own app. Um, but yeah, go ahead and design everything out in Adobe XD. And in the next video, we'll, we'll get on the same page with our full design and discuss that. All right, ciao for now.